uh, cryptocurrency and how it relates to penny stocks. I am doing graffiti. And His name is Rich. My name is Rich. <laughs> it's about Florida. Well, basically, yes. But mainly, this is just covering all of conservation in general. So basically, what I did was the efficiency of torture. My project is on teenage depression and anxiety. And the mermaid with the question mark. That doesn't actually exist. We got a few documentaries. These are my few personal opinions, a few images, even a few fun facts. The truth? Torture does not work because it forces humans to go past their threshold of pain and say whatever is needed for the pain to stop. Well, I, uh, I plugged everything into the motherboard, which is the thing in the bag back here. Uh, and then I put it in the, in the uh, tower, which is the case. And then, um, through a little trial and error, I uh, plugged all the wires in. These are more wires. For... About 13% of teens have anxiety levels high enough to be treated. Um, growing up, I was fascinated by art, and I guess I got drawn to graffiti. Growing up in New York, graffiti was a big part. And if those coins raising them mildly in value, you made a huge, huge profit. I mean, if they go from 0.013 of a cent to 0.026 of a cent, that's double your profit. So, so you make $10,000 to $20,000.